I'm sure you've all heard the expression fake it till you make it, but today I just want to look and see what happens when all you do is fake it without ever making it. You end up like this loser who we're about to take a look at today. A guy who has become a complete parody of self-confidence but without any level of self-awareness. He portrays himself as an extremely successful popular content creator who is friends with everyone, but the reality of the situation is much worse when you start to realize the obsessive and narcissistic tendencies this weirdo tends to have. He first came into contact with me about a year ago and I never paid him any attention, but things have officially gotten worse, hence me making my first ever drama video. This guy has it all. He'll be flaming people he's jealous of, creating fake Twitch accounts to talk about himself in third person, and attacking anyone who disagrees with him on Twitter, all at the same time. I'm going to play a couple of short clips from his most recent video where this guy's talking about the Golden Gnomes, which he actually decided to upload after watching it back, and then I'm going to dive into the situation a little bit deeper, so I do commend you to watch this entire video. It's like... The only reason she has a following on Twitter or Twitch is because of me. She can she can fit out of the story. I don't want to fucking see you trying to step to me like that West Ham did on Twitter. Like did a bit of will just stop whining like a little bitch every time something goes wrong for him in, in this game. Uh, what do we got here? Best new old school streamer, Skatizo. Um, will not be getting my vote. All right. Okay. So Skatizo is not getting his vote. Interesting. All right. Interesting. You guys are pretty much aware of that. This person's been streaming for two months and is somehow um, being nominated for best new old school streamer. That's like, uh, <laughs> Skatizo being on this list is like Kamsat Shemaev getting nominated into the UFC Hall of Fame after three wins in the Octagon because he did such a good job again. Did, did he just, did he just compare Hamzat Shemaev to Skatizo OSRS from Twitch? It's nobody's. Do you like... If 12 months time what? she gives us streaming because life's too hard because streaming isn't as easy as it seems to be, what a fucking waste of a golden gnome that would be, right? <laughs> wait, what? What? Wait, wait, what? Okay, so 12 months from now, she quit streaming because it's not as easy as she thought it would be. It would be a waste of a golden gnome. And because she's only been streaming for two months, she isn't eligible to be up for the category for bet. You've just compared a... a, a First of all, you know, I hate women as next as much as the next person, but you just comp compared a girl new streamer at the old school RuneScape category to the the most famous person currently in the UFC? Y y do you realize how contradictory that statement is? You're saying that someone who's only blown up in two months isn't eligible for an award for new people. She's a new person and she's blown up in two months. If anything, that makes her more eligible for this award. Not yes. I can't believe this guy used the analogy of Hamzat Chemayev, bro. Because I don't know, like, I don't want to get too into my UFC fandom, but if you guys know who, UFC, uh, who Hamzat Chemayev is, he's one of the greatest fighters in the UFC. And the reason he is so popular after almost three fights is because he is so talented. I mean, if you're going to use that analogy for this, then you're kind of just not proving your own point. Because if someone is eligible for this award after two months, that just means they're doing a good job. Like, per, like, you guys know, like, my community especially, you guys know the, the, I say this in full confidence, what a cunt she is. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Okay, okay, he's got some, he's got some previous history with the nominee, that's fair enough, okay? What a cunt she is, you know, you don't want to vote for someone because, you know, alright, fair enough, fair so, enough. So, um, hence why she's banned here and rebranded herself to Scoteso, but outside of that... Okay, so since he has banned her she's rebranded herself to skatizo so before king condor she was never called skatizo all right okay I, I understand this is this is giving me some good reasons to not vote for her I, i'm with you buddy i'm with you um she slept her way up there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what did what <laughs> let me did let me let me do the she work she slept right? her um, way up there oh okay, okay it was someone in her chat it was someone in his chat tanya from his chat goes wait Tanya from his chat, who I assume is a girl, I don't know many men named Tanya, claims that Skatizo has slept her way up to a Golden Dome nomination. Okay. All right. I, 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 okay. <laughs> but, you know. No, you're not wrong. Um, sorry, Pancake. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. So, okay. So, Tanya in the chat asks if she's wrong about, uh, about Skatizo sleeping her way to a Golden Dome. And this guy just responds by saying, no, you're not wrong. So you're you're a YouTuber with fifty thousand subscribers, and you're telling your audience that someone who you clearly don't like has had sex with everyone in order to get a golden no. But nominate. do you, even, bro? How, bro? Do you even? What, do you even hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? X is. I didn't know Zoe Pancakes was eligible for this, but I only started watching her 
I probably started watching it during this period. I just thought she was doing going longer than that. So I would give her my vote. So one of this guy's main points is that because Katiz has only been streaming this year in 2023, and as these are the 2022 Golden Gnomes, she shouldn't be eligible for it. He then proceeds to say that he didn't think Zoe was eligible because she's been streaming since before 2022, but because she's up there, uh, he's going to vote for him. First of all, both of these people are eligible. The criteria for the Golden Gnome, who's anyone who hasn't been nominated for before, and has seen incredible growth in the past 15 months, allowing them to you know better their career, better their self as a streamer. So whether they've been streaming for two months or for 18 months, they are both still eligible. I'm not sure if this guy like doesn't know how to read or his brain's operating at a second grade level, but to me, it just seems like you're a very jealous, bitter loser. What's this, this Contezo driver? Are we, it's, it's old news, but um, you know, no, she's not welcome around here and various other um, platforms now because of that. She's not welcome around here and various other um, platforms now because of that. Aww. She's not welcome around here anymore. She's not, she's not welcome around anymore, but... Buddy, do you think she gives a flying fuck if she is not welcomed into a community that just bullies her and creates lies about her and slatters her name? You sound like the biggest fucking psychopath I have ever seen, bro. She's there, I'm um, sorry. And PJ and T Papa aren't. I, I don't think Prison Joey Class is a new streamer, but T Papa is, yeah. No, she doesn't deserve to be on this list, but, you know. I don't give a fuck. Simp votes? Uh, you can't trust the homies not to simp at the end of the day. It doesn't matter, you know. He has spent the past a minute and a half from 12 minutes in this video to around 13, 23 talking about her. He's now brought up the fact that people are only voting for her for, for a simple, well, you know, fair enough, bro. Like, I understand that completely. Um, obviously, girls are going to get some votes from simps, but I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't matter, you know. Hey, would you like to see win the gold known for best stream art? Okay, he's moved on. He's moved on. So surely this is over. You know, this bit about Skatizo is over. Let's see who we're going to vote for the best old school RuneScape streamer. You know, we got Dino, Odablock, It's Will. Let's see who we're going to vote up here. Drama video. I don't really want to give Skatizo any more attention than she's already robbed from me and many other creators. Like, the only reason she has a following <laughs> on Twitter or Twitch like, is because of me. Don't say it, bro. Can, no. Can, Do not say it. Do not say it. Do not say it. On Twitter or Twitch is because of me. She can, she can feed people the bullshit. Oh, I made good content. Oh, you know, just post funny tweets all she wants, but you like everyone knows for a fact that if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't fucking be anywhere. So fuck her. I don't want to give her any more attention. That's why I, he's, I, done, he's done. He's done the one the thing do you her. don't do as a creator. He has claimed that the only reason she's anywhere is because of him. So it doesn't take a rocket science to really figure out that these two have definitely had some type of relationship at some point in the past. If you go to Twitter and search Skatizo's name from his Twitter account, the most recent tweet is saying, I got no clue why Skatizo's on there, to be honest. Didn't stream in 2020. Yeah, whatever. You guys get the point. Uh, the Skatizo plague is everywhere. Um, he's calling her a snake here. Uh, but if you scroll down more, you look amazing, Max. Smash. Smash. Show the loot tab. The amount... The, you, you, you're beginning to see a pattern here. You're beginning to see a pattern here. And around July, he's asking Skatizo if she's hot. She's white. He's white knighting her in the replies on Twitter. Replying even more. Now, somewhere along, some amazing artwork from someone I'm more proud to have designing thumbnails and merch for my YouTube channel. Ask Skatizo is easily one of the most talented artists slash designers I've seen in the community. Be sure to show her some love. July 5th, 2022. This is, what, nine months ago? Skatizo has been streaming for two months and obviously somewhere between July of last year and March of this year. <laughs> something went wrong. Something went wrong. But if something went wrong back in July and she started streaming just this year, just a couple of months ago, I am really confused as to how you are the reason that she is anywhere. All right, I've done some investigating and I've found the juice. So it turns out, Around July 18th, 2022, they were working on a series together. Both King Condor and Skatizo were working on a series together called Thought Lock. And eight months ago, so this is way before Skatizo's ever streamed, he said, Thought Lock number three is currently being edited. However, I'm not rushing the series, blah, 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 blah. And then five months ago, so sometime between eight months ago and five months ago, Thought Locked will not be returning for the foreseeable future. Um, I have plans, but I know this tends to, but people tend to change when you give them a platform. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the assumption that sometime within the three months of this relationship went sour. 
Um, and he literally went and he literally went to the point where he privated all the videos with her. He's privated every single video with her. It's only members only content, which basically means you have to pay like a five dollar subscription to see the videos. So eight months ago, he's making videos with Scatizo. Five months ago, um, there's no longer being, you know, there's no foreseeable future with it. Their, their, their relationship is over. There's no more content. And three months ago, Scatizo started streaming. She started streaming in January of 2023, actually. So she hasn't been working on this for since the last year. And she started streaming three months ago, completely respective of this. So let's let's see what she's managed to accomplish in, in that time. Right here is a list of a, every stream Scatizo has ever done ever. Her first stream was on January 7th, months after she had ever done any sort of content with Kung Condor or anything. She doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything, by the way. She's literally just a streamer. So her first stream was on January 7th. And she had an average viewers of 160. She had max viewers of 349. And she gained 123 followers on her first stream ever. And she streamed for nine hours. I've, I don't think I've ever streamed for nine hours in my life. She streamed for six hours the next day, got 100 followers, streamed for seven hours the next day, got another 100 followers. As you can see, every single stream is quite, quite, quite long. She streamed a total of, let me see if I can get, okay, that's one week. She streamed a total of 274 hours since the start of the year. That is a very good average stream time. And if you go look at the rest of her stats, which I'm sure we can do to just look at things objectively, you can literally see all the proof there. Nine hours stream on 26 February, she gained, she had what, what does that say? She had 375 total viewers, an average viewers of 238, and she gained 100 new followers that day as well. Did a six hour stream. Then she didn't stream for a week, came back, still averaged 200 viewers. What, what are you angry about, bro? What are you angry about? Are you mad because you've been streaming for nine hours and you only have half of her average viewers? Are you mad because you've been spamming shit content every single day for years only for every single video to underperform? Are you mad because she's been able to accomplish a hundred times more than you in three months while you've been trying for three years? Are you mad because you're the girl? You could say it. Are you mad because you've never won a golden gnome and you think you deserve it? Buddy, you're mad at yourself. Take a look in the mirror and then take a look at your shit fucking YouTube channel and ask yourself why a video you made shitting on other creators got less views than some guy who uploads videos of him opening gates in the RuneScape video. Yes, opening gates. So why am I making this video? Why am I white knighting some random girl streamer? And why am I, why am I just shitting on this guy for no reason, right? Well, first of all, this random shitbag King Condor made some video crying about me like a year ago. At least some sort of element of PKing. Uh, not to the extent that everyone wants, but Hopefully, the, it revives enough PKing in the wilderness to the point that people like did a bitter will just stop whining like a little bitch every time something goes wrong for him in, in this game. And um, yeah, it would just be nice if he just shut the fuck up for one day. But on the plus- Really, bro? I'm, I'm the one who needs to stop whining and shut up for just one day? Really? V? V? The flame didn't stop there. He proceeded to spend the next six months obsessing over me, following me around in Twitch chats, tweeting at me every day, and she, literally shit talking me in every single video he made for months. Like he'd make, there'll be like a minute segment talking about me. I've never paid him any attention because he's just a fucking nobody and this is just what he wants. But when it gets to the point where he's literally harassing people he used to have a genuine relationship with and accusing them of things that only he's really guilty of, it seemed like an opportunity to exact some revenge. This guy would literally make fake Twitch accounts to come into my chat and ask about himself in third person. You can't make this shit up. So this is King Connor's account in my Twitch stream. Obviously, he came in literally a year ago after he'd already flamed me. He's like, yo, finally get to, get to catch a dinner bill live stream. Obviously, you know, he's just trying to rustle my feathers. So I just instantly banned him because I have nothing, you know, I've got nothing to say to him. He then made a fake Twitch account. And this is where things get real interesting because um, he came in, you know, he, he asked around the worldy bosses. And then he mentioned King Condor, the second thing. So I was like, you know what? Maybe this guy's King Condor's friend or something. He's just trying to rob me up. I'm not going to give him any attention. He comes back. Is that what? Is that? Yeah, he comes back 10 days later. <laughs> he comes back 10 days later just to play me, asked a couple of questions, and then he talks about King Condor again. Um, he talks about UFC, which I know oh, he did make the Chamayev comparison earlier. You know, it's fairly obvious this is him, but you know, let's give him the benefit of doubt. Let's just say that this is one of his friends right now. And the last message he ever asked was, You reckon you could take King Condor and the Octagon? Obviously, he's tweeted at me multiple times trying to box me. So, I mean, you guys can, you, you guys can do the math whether this is him or not. But if you still don't believe me, this is my friend Megan's stream. So I'm going to check the logs of that exact same Twitch account, Fit Bubba. All right, let's see what we find. 16 messages talking about thought log towards Scatizo. 
It's far better content. It's good at it's like he's just talking about Scatizo and King Condor, and he's gassing up his own video. Is I don't know if he was trying to like wingman himself on a fake account or something, but I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to do here. But I mean, you guys tell me whether this is a, his account or not. Man, wait till this guy finds out that Scatizo is not nominated for one Golden Gnomes. She's nominated for two. It's good. Scatizo. Um. There is a portfolio. I'm not going to show it because fuck her. Um, and no. <clears throat> Mate, that's not a very nice thing to say about the most talented artist slash designer you've ever seen in the community. You should you should show her some love, man. Why? What's with all the hate? What's with all the negativity? Um, when did the drama will come out? She definitely uh, shouldn't have been nominated. Uh, for those who were here around the time when she used to be here, the, no the drama is there. And for those on the outside of this video that are going to try white knight that shit, if you don't know both sides of the story i don't want to fucking see you trying to step to me like that west ham cunt did on twitter like know your fucking place know your fucking place bro this guy is 30 years old with a son this guy is 30 years old he has a child and he he's he's literally mumbling looking at the floor shaking in his little boots when he starts talking about another content creator he's Casper didn't even step to you. He all he said was, "It is possible to say you want another creator to win without just slamming someone else." Speaking volumes about your own character. Where in this interaction did you beat him? Where this guy genuinely moves like a fifteen-year-old high school girl in a fucking American sitcom, dude. Two days after Casper calls him out for his behavior, he subtweets him, saying that consistent eight-way switches and OSR are not only that hard. Um, obviously this, this doesn't have to directly relate to him, but I think the pattern of behavior I've established is, I mean, I don't know who else it would be really talking about. Uh, I love how the chat is just shitting on her, like, is what it is. Which nominee? You love how the chat is just shitting on her. Obviously you love how the chat is just shitting on her. You hate her, but your chat is literally saying things like nudes were definitely traded for a golden gnome. They're saying stuff like narcissists are pro at being able to find how fucking do you even know what do you even know what a narcissist means king condor because if you think she's a narcissist bro you need to have a hard look in the mirror bro this was a 30 minute long video that was taken from like a 12 hour stream from you this is only 30 minutes and i've managed to find all this of what he said can you imagine he streams every day can you imagine what he's saying constantly for his chat to just always be saying stuff like this like, bro, you need to fucking sort it out. Shout out again to Settled and uh, Soup for following my lead in being humble enough to just withdraw uh, almost completely from the Golden Gnomes. I know uh, I'm featured in one of the best videos alongside Soup as well. Um, and Settled's in the one I was in, so you, you can't really help those situations. But it just wouldn't be fair for streamers and content creators alike if I was up for a nomination. So um, you guys are welcome. Good luck on the... So yeah, this guy is totally not a narcissist, man. The guy who only follows 50 people on Twitter. The guy who has tweeted about the Golden Gnomes probably 30 times in the last month. The guy who withdrew himself from nom- Read this tweet. Good to see big creators like Settled and Soup are following my standard approach to the annual Golden Gnomes and withdrawing from nomination because it wouldn't be fair on the competition. That's king shit. Good luck to everyone else. This guy genuinely thinks he's on the same level as Settled, who has the most YouTube, most subscribers in RuneScape history, the, the, definitely the most viewed videos, and Soup, the creator of the Gilador games. And the reason Settled and Soup withdrew themselves from nomination is because they've already won a gnome. But, but yeah, man, she's the narcissist and not you. For sure, buddy, for sure. I have no idea what kind of crack this guy is smoking, but he really needs to stop. A quick scroll through his Twitter, and it seems to be 50% subtweeting Scatizo and hating on all women. 40% sucking off and given the sloppiest of top two creators bigger than him and 10% interacting with his girlfriend. This guy has a girlfriend and I really have to wonder what she thinks every time she sees him tweet or make a video about another girl and just constantly hating on her all the time. I guess I don't have to wonder. It only costs $20 a month to ask her directly. I'm going to call it there. I'm sure there's some things that I've missed, but I really don't want to spend another second talking about this guy. He's got what he's wanted. Finally, you have a reaction from me. Here you go, buddy. Congratulations. The link to the Golden Gnome voting is down below. Vote for who you want and don't listen to this crazy little cuck. And to King Condor, I know you're, how mad you are watching this video. Just take an hour, man. Chill out a little bit and think before you inevitably make that stupid response video. That is probably just going to highlight even more how insecure, petty, and obsessed you are. This is my normal type of video and it'll be the last on the subject. 
So if you want to check my most recent actual RuneScape video, it's right there or right there or somewhere. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.